Hi people, welcome to the first part, 3D Paint Tutorial. I will cover the basic use of 3D Paint, feature in Carrara version 7. Brushes can be any kind of image file, like BMP, JPG or PNG with transparency, or Alpha Channel. Those image files can be stored inside the presets directory, inside the paint brushes folder. There you can create a new folder to your own files. You can create your own brush in Photoshop in a very simple way. I will create a simple scratch brush here, so you can better understand how this work. You also can convert Photoshop brushes to PNG files, and use those images inside Carrara to paint your textures. Brushes can be simple images, from textures from walls cloth, wood, or any other material that you need. Just remember to use square images, like 512x512 pixels, or larger. I am using a transparent background in this image, so we can paint only using the lines. This image will be saved as a PNG file, so we can preserve the transparency. Save the file to the place we talked about in the first place. Here is the new PNG file, that we will use as a brush in Carrara 3D Paint. Let's start this lesson with a new clean scene. This is a simple example, so we will use a simple primitive cube to paint. Every time you start the paint tool, Carrara will ask you if you want to create or add a new texture. Don't matter your choice, if your object already have a texture it can be lost, so beware when painting content. Now you can paint in the color channel, or alpha, or specular, or bump, or displacement channels. We will only paint in the color channel for now. So expand the arrow, and you will see that there's no texture. Use the want icon to create a new color texture for your cube. In the new dialog you can choose the bitmap size in pixels, its file format, and where to save the file. Remember, it's a texture now, so save to texture folder in Carrara. Since Carrara 3D Paint support layers, I prefer to save in PSD file format, so I can edit the final texture in Photoshop, without any problem in that future if needed. If you expand again the arrow in the color channel, you can see the layers. With the right mouse click you can bring a new menu where you can add new layers, fill or clear layers. Now a little fun. First we will use the paint brush tool. In the default state, it paint the color that you choose in the color wheel.
adding a new layer, you can paint over the already painted layers, without loose anything. You can turn those layers visible or not, so you can work better in your painting. Just click in the eye icon. You can change the brush size in two ways. Using the slider, or holding the control key in the keyboard. The smooth brush is a more soft way to paint in Carrara. It have the same proprieties that the simple brush. Finally the image brush, where you can use any square image to paint in your object. When the option is mask, is turned on, it will use the colors from the color wheel to paint. This way, the white color will use the color from the wheel, and the black color will be the alpha channel. Clicking in the brush image, you bring up the brush wizard, where you can choose from many other presets. The option, use edge fall off, allow you to create a better paint with brushes that can't be tiled, since it give a soft edge to the brush. But in some cases you will want to turn this off so you can paint more faster with tiled brushes. You need to pay attention to the color wheel, sometimes using image brushes you will need to use the white color, so you can see the real image brush color, otherwise your brush will change the original color. Turn the option, is mask on again will allow you to use the color from the color wheel, to paint using the image. Now let's use the image that we created in Photoshop. Click in the icon close to the image file name. Now browse the file that we saved in Carrara Brushes folder. Click OK, and it's simple like that. If you want to save as a brush just hit the disk-like icon, and save the new preset. Remember that the white color will be your brush, and black color is the alpha channel. So if you need to invert the colors, 
just choose the option, Invert Image. Another tip here is, your object need to be used mapped so the paint tool can work fine. Otherwise you will end with some stretched areas, and distortion in your final painting. Like in Photoshop, you can change the layer's mode, so you can blend those layers together. At same time you can drag them around, and change the position of the layers.